So as you can see, we are running low on CO2. Well, actually, it's not even dosing anymore. Just a tiny bit, but not enough. Let me zoom. We are also running low on nutrients. MPK. I have enough of these trays. I have enough of these pans. I have a tiny bit of iron left. This is what I dose. I have my my own formula for this. I do it with salts. I'm going to be showing that later in the video. I have a Jevao automatic dosing pump. So I am dosing consistently every day. And I think that's a big part of keeping your plants looking healthy and having these beautiful tones and coloration. This tank gets a lot of natural light. I have to close the drapes at night because it has the sun. Uh, just sunbathing tank uh, a lot of a lot of hours before the light gets on turns on I'm sorry uh, it turns automatically at 12 p.m. and the sun comes out from in this direction at about 6 30 a.m. so a lot of time of extra light but I think that has helped my Pogos de Monel Ferry look like that but I'm not sure it might be just the Chihiro's lighting just amazing beautiful light I have a smaller one here and look at that color that's insane I still have a lot of uh, BBA, that's a nightmare. I have a little bit of Cladophora in the filter sponge, I haven't cleaned that for a while. And I have some uh, red cherry shrimp here, just helping me out, keep the hair algae down and uh, I move things around a little bit. Even my uh, Brazilian dwarf hair grass is getting red in the tips. It's just insane what these lights can achieve. Okay, so I've set up uh, some extra lightning just for the purpose of the video. I took it out for um, another uh, enclosure that's not in use. Um, so here are the ingredients. You need um, distilled water, depending on how much you want to do, uh, that's how much you need. You need um, one teaspoon, four milliliters spoon, just to do all the measurements. And uh, you're going to need potassium nitrate. Um, magnesium sulfide and um, mono basic um, potassium phosphate phosphate um, so that's the that's the ingredients for um, for the MPK so the macronutrients that you're going to be feeding your plants but without further ado I will uh, tell you the measurements and I will um, prepare it uh, you're going to need, um, um, I'm not sure how they're called, I will, I will show it to you, you'll know what I mean. This is what I meant, a funnel. You're going to need a funnel and uh, that's it, let's get to it. I'm going to set up this cell phone somewhere. So, I would... Um, suggest to start with a bottle halfway 
that way you can add all the salts and it won't uh, spill out and you won't waste as much so we're just going to open this we're going to remove the cap these caps are always a pain to get rid of so for 500 millimeters of uh, distilled water we're going to be using four teaspoons of potassium nitrate that's going to be your main source of uh, nitrogen so the N in NPK so for one liter I'm going to be using eight tablespoons I usually um, don't um, overdo it I like I like my my tablespoon flat so just give it a little space dump it in eight teaspoons of potassium nitrate let's close this up set it aside now we're going with um, magnesium sulfate we're going to add six teaspoons of magnesium sulfate um, for 500 milliliters of water so we're going to be adding 12 teaspoons of this to our um, our nutrient solution so one And 12 so I am going to have to deal with all these huge rocks later on uh, right now I'm just trying to get all the loose stuff out and then I will try maybe with uh, mortar uh, I don't know how to say it in English I'm sorry Molcajete. so a stone that you use to crush things to make salsa you know um, so next we have the um, monopotassium phosphate or monobasic potassium phosphate. Um, so this is um, this is the last ingredient, really important one. Sometimes I like to add a little bit more or a little a little a little bit less. I'm sorry. Um, so you can so you can just check it out with the basic ingredients and then you can. Uh, tune it to your needs as you as you start uh, seeing uh, your plants develop. This is just one teaspoon per 500 milliliters. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of this. One. This is in the side. So now we have um, 500 milliliters or so, a little bit more, I think, um, but it doesn't matter. It just, um, as long as you have the measurement in the, in, in the bottle, so uh, just, just go with that. Um, the temperature difference between this is already uh, pretty crazy the chemical reaction of the salts getting dissolved in the water will make the water super super cold it's just a chemical reaction I guess um, I have to look more into that but now round two look at these caps so this cap I need to save because I am going to use just half of it so I need to save the other half and if I got it like this I'm going to preserve it with it just for 
just because I don't know what are they doing there, if they are uh, preventing evaporation or, or contamination. So it won't hurt to leave it in. So I just don't completely destroy it. And now we're going to add more distilled water until we reach the one liter mark. I like to leave just a tiny bit of space so the line is right on a point right here and I like to leave uh, probably a quarter of, a, of an inch maybe less so this is all rinsed now sometimes you can get these salts to stick to the funnel like right here I'm not sure if you can see it but they stick to the funnel so it's always good to rinse it with some uh, distilled water and clean it before you uh, save it for, for your next use. So I am going to close this up really well. I'm going to seal the other half bottle out there. And uh, I'm going to tag this bottle as MPK just so I don't... Uh, Mix, mix it with, um, with other uh, formulas or with other and I just added full formula so I did the, the whole saturation uh, exactly as I have it uh, written, written down and exactly as I have been successful with it. I've had great success in my tank. You, you, you can see the other uh, videos or you can see this video. I think I have some clips of it. So, um, so that, that's, that's what, what you should do. The, the salts with, uh, will sediment over time. Well, as soon as you add them, some of them will start to dissolve um, instantly. Some of them will take uh, up to, I don't know, probably six hours, more or less. So I like to steer it really, really, really well uh, for, um, for a long period of time. And then I like to set it down. I'm going to keep, um, I'm going to keep steering it for, for a little bit. And uh, then I, I like to let it sit for about 24 hours, so I will, um, right now, it's 1.44 p.m., about, uh, so I will dose this uh, tomorrow, well, I don't need to because I still have like a, a week's worth of the other one, I have like almost over here. So I, I will wait until that's completely gone, which should take about three, four days maybe. And then I am going to, I'm going to hook this up to the automatic Jebao doser, uh, the four channel doser, and this is going to be channel number one. And um, I just hope it's helpful for you. I hope um, many of you can uh, save a few bucks on your plant tanks. I know it's an expensive hobby if you want to do it right, if you want to do it the right way. Um, it, can, it can get pretty expensive. So we're back up here. Beautiful colors. Cryptocorin undulata red. Damn, man, just beautiful. So if you're wondering about the dosage, um, so if you have a heavily planted tank uh, like this one, or, you know, similar uh, with carpeting plants and stem plants or something like that, plants that grow really fast, that they have high consumption rate, um, and you have CO2 and high lightning, this formula is intended for high-tech planted tanks um, it doesn't uh, really matter the size you're going to be adding 10 milliliters 
every 50 liters of water um, I will do the conversion to gallons so every 50 liters you're going to add 10 milliliters of, of MPK solution and um, so I have a 250 liter here um, and I add uh, 25 milliliters every other day I have it um, one day I dose MPK 25 milliliters one day I dose uh, 5 milliliters of trace I dose advance every day um, 5 milliliters and I dose iron every three days um, 3 milliliters and uh, so yeah and if you have a slightly less planted tank but still with a lot of plants that grow really fast um, I mean like this Igrophila uh, it's a, it's a it's a high consum consumption uh, plant it grows really fast um, the Alteranantra uh, Reiniki is also uh, a, a high consumption plant but this being a small tank and um, I dose uh, just about one bubble a second of CO2 um, I have the light at probably 70% I think um, so I dose way less and uh, I'm dosing about 3 milliliters uh, every other day with this one and I am also uh, dosing the uh, trays and the advanced I do just one pump out of this one I think it's uh, well, out of, out of each one, I do one, one pump. Um, the same with the big one. One day I do three milliliters of this MPK. Then I do three milliliters of um, of the trace, and then I do three milliliters of the advance every every day, um, every other day. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah. Just uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will be answering those. Um, I think um, I think the results are pretty evident. I used to dose uh, sicken nitrogen, sicken phosphorus, sicken potassium, and um, well, I, I have to add just way too much, and I have to buy the. 500 milliliter presentation that's the largest presentation that they sell um, like with high av availability rate in Mexico so um, I was just spending way too much to keep my tank looking beautiful I will be switching those um, probably tomorrow you can see I still have some more I think tomorrow is uh, MPK day or macronutrient day so I think I will be adding that I'm going to be unhooking this CO2 uh, tank and I'm going to take it to get refilled. Uh, it's been without CO2 for uh, a day and a half, so it's not uh, great, but it is what it is. The CO2 is back running. I went and filled it up. So we're golden. We're set for a few months, or at least I hope so. The nutrient solution is hooked up. It's working great. Automatically. A little preview of my new colony. I'm going to be uploading the video soon. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope it um, I hope it helps to keep your beautiful planted tanks healthy. Have a great one. See you on the next one. Peace.